guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Josie Ochoa. Bienvenidos a mi canal and gracias por estar acá. If you guys are new, please subscribe. This one's gonna be more like a Q&A, get to know me type of video because I feel like I finally have been consistent for I think two months here and slowly but surely we are growing and thank you guys for supporting me. A lot of you guys are either Snap Fam or Instagram. So thank you so much. Lo aprecio muchísimo and Another thing is I feel like I've been posting vlogs but I always get the same questions and people want to get to know me so I'm like let's do it. Let's get to know each other. Anyways, it's been a very long day. Actually, I was vlogging but I'm not sure if that vlog is going to go up because it was very hectic and then like, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. If you guys see it, we'll, you'll see this outfit. You'll see this shirt. But um, I just got home but I wanted to record a separate video because I feel like I've been posting and I want you guys to get to know me more. And before you guys ask me, I am drinking a tea. I put it in the fridge, so now it's like an iced tea, I guess. And this tea has been helping me a lot. It's to detox, cleanse, and get rid of inflammation because I've been very swollen lately and I feel like my insides are just, you know, we need a cleanse. Mmm. I also just took off my rings porque si estoy hinchada, like my whole body is just like retaining water or something. I don't know what's going on, but that's girl issues. <laughs> Do you guys see these? They're just coming in. I literally just posted. So uh, I'm going to read some and then answer some because I want to feel like this is a conversation. I always go on Instagram live and I feel like I have a great time. So I want this video to kind of feel like I'm on Instagram live, if that makes sense. So that was why I... Uh, went ahead and asked you guys and the first questions are always like kind of like the basic ones like how old are you where are you from blah 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 let's get those five questions out of the way and then we could get more into detail because what if you guys are like new here and like you're like what is she talking about all right where are you from i am born and raised in la los angeles california all right two one three where you at my family is from guatemala the city of guatemala para los que siempre me preguntan and um my birthday is December 8th. If you guys want to send me anything for my birthday, I'm going to leave my P.O. box down below. I am a Sagittarius. Yes, I am. Also, if you guys are interested, I am the year of the monkey. So I am a monkey, just in case. I am very into astrology. So if you tell me your sign, I'll know a little bit about you. I'm just kidding. But I am very into astrology and I love fire signs. So shout out to all my fire signs. And uh, my air signs. I'm just kidding. All of you guys are amazing. And and I've only dated Leos and Geminis in my life. I don't know why. It's just it just happens. Like they just come to me naturally. Like God is like, here, girl, get yourself a Leo. Fun fact: I am single, and I'm very proud of being single for literally a year. So it's been the longest I've been single, and I think it's been great. Especially now that I'm 25, I feel like I get to do things that you need to do before you get married. Eh? I just started to consistently work out this year, so if I uh, share some knowledge, it's only what I know. I'm not a professional. Um, fun fact also, um, this year, uh, I've gotten thicker. <laughs> I was always 120 pounds, and for my height, that was pretty skinny. But now I am um, way more than that. Let's just say that. <laughs> okay, so... Now that I gave you guys some time to send me some questions, let me check it out. Yo, I don't know what's going on. Like, oh, there it is. I was, about to, I was about to complain. Instagram's tripping out. Like, sometimes it doesn't show me what I need to see. All right, somebody said, not a question, but wanted to say you inspire me and you are gorgeous. Hashtag Guatemalan and proud. Thank you, Freckles23. I really appreciate it and... Yes, I am very proud to be representing the Guatemalan community everywhere I go because I feel like there's not a lot of Guatemalan like influencers, artists, movie stars, like singers, like there is not a lot of Guatemalan talent. So if I could put my little grain of salt in the internet, why not? So I'm very proud and especially now with projects like Mission Guatemala and we could give back and unite our forces to be more I feel like that is amazing also talking about that if you guys haven't seen my um documentary I just posted last here on my channel I'm gonna link it down below or put it up here for you guys to watch it it's basically what we do as a team 
That's what Misión Guatemala did this year and it's a beautiful journey that I decided to document for the first time and take you guys with us. It's a beautiful story. So I don't want to talk too much about it, but basically, if you haven't watched it, go watch it now. And talking about Guatemala, I just love that the fact that we can now give back. From here, we could give back to a community that really needs our help. Misión Guatemala has become a big, big major part of my life. I started that project when I was 20 two years old now i'm 25 so this is our third year and i am very proud to say i started that at such a young age and now we are able to give back to many communities in guatemala if you guys want to know more about our projects please see our last video it's actually a documentary that we just posted of our mission this year si no han visto el video please go watch it i'll leave the link right here it's called volcan de fuego which is a volcano eruption that happened this year and we documented it for the first time so Check it out. Y gracias por apoyarnos. Thank you for supporting us and being a part of our fam and our team. So on to the next question. What are your goals, short-term and long-term goals? Bendiciones. Lisset 98. My goals. My goals, long-term and short-term. So long-term, they have always been to become this like business woman. Just have my own. That's my goal in life. Um, I can't be super specific because I'm gonna be honest. This year, more than ever, I've become more anal, to be honest. More anal, and I guess more realistic with myself. I guess when I was growing up, or being younger, I was such a dreamer, and I was such a like optimistic person, which is part of who I am. Like, I guess being a Sag, I'm very optimistic, and I, I always think positive. But lately, I don't know, it's because I'm getting older or something, I started like really being realistic in a, in a point where I'm not too optimistic like I'll really think about the consequences which honestly I don't like because I, I wish I could just go back to that mentality being super positive but you know honestly uh, being realistic I have some plans that I don't want to share just yet um, and I hope they become reality and when they do you guys will know damn she was talking about that you go Josie but I've learned not to really share everything uh, when it comes to projects and goals because people try to get in your way and trust me like I've been through hell and back I have been through hell and back if you've been a supporter of mine for the longest especially if we go back to like I don't know two years back even you guys have seen a change a growth in my character in and you guys have probably seen the experiences I've been through hell and back and here I am stronger than ever so ¿Qué tal fue la experiencia en MBL? I feel like I always get that question and I'm pretty sure I got like 10 more questions around the same line and I feel like it's not that I don't like to talk about it I just get like like why do we need to keep asking the same thing y creo que siempre me preguntan lo mismo pero bueno and that is the reason why I did a story time about almost two years ago telling you guys the good, the bad, the ugly, the tea, the fakeness and everything you guys want to know about that show in this video so I'm going to link it down below for you guys because I want you guys to watch it if you guys really want to know si de verdad quieren saber que lo que pasó con esa experiencia como me fue, lo bueno, lo malo lo todo, ahí está and I just don't want to bring it up here in this video. I don't want to bring that energy in here. So let's move on. Because if we go into detail, it'll take forever. So instead of going into detail, just go watch that video. And that was like two years ago. So I don't know. Maybe I should do a newer version. <laughs> maybe, huh? Because maybe my, 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 my thoughts have changed. But I just watched my video actually recently because someone sent me like a whole essay of how they felt after watching the video. And they were really shocked and I, I was like well i wonder what i said so i went ahead and watched the video again and i'm like no everything's accurate everything that i said is pretty accurate so if you guys want to watch it i still agree with myself <laughs> if that makes sense i feel like you know opinions change from time to time or perspectives change but my perspective is still the same so go watch it <sighs> talking about that alguien me puso um is it annoying when people constantly bring up MBL? By the way, you are body goals. Jeanette, Jeanette. Like I said, it does get annoying, but I do get where they're coming from. A lot of these people kind of like met me through Nuestra Belleza Latina, so I get it. But I also want them to understand that like now I'm in a new chapter in my life and I am here because of me, not because of anyone's help. Literally, like 
it didn't really do much when it comes to like career wise i put myself in the platform that i am now and i'm very thankful for that and basically the people that have supported me so thank you guys for everything you see sometimes i get annoyed <laughs> um, what kind of diet procedure are you following with your workouts honestly um i feel like if i would have followed a diet earlier i would have lost weight already how i want to be like my goal because like i was always a very skinny girl i've always had some type of muscle i've always been very um active when it comes to like working out and stuff but uh, this is the first time ever it's become like um a routine for me before i guess i had muscle memory i was younger so everything was just faster and my metabolism was amazing but once i hit 25 i'm not gonna lie it, things started to slow down and I got thick, which I didn't think was bad. But I put my head about it and I just started feeling too heavy. And um, to a point where I started seeing like little back rolls and things like that for the first time. And I'm like, whoa, 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 what's happening? So, por eso empecé ir al gym. Y siento that really my legs, my butt, my abs, my, my arms still need some work. But I feel like that's because I'm just over my weight. Um, but yeah, it's been harder to lose it. I'm not going to lie. That's just part of growing up, I guess. And now I just need to take care of myself. Love myself. Inside and out. Yeah. So thank you for that question. That was an amazing question. Someone else said, what is the best advice you can give someone who wants to start their own business? My best advice is to do your research, whatever product, service, whatever you want to put out there, do your research depending on what you want to do. Be online. Marketing is very important and um presentation presentation is very important i'm very i'm very big on that um i actually manage my own little business josie style and i feel like presentation is everything it will sell your product also the way you market yourself the way you sell yourself um if it's a service your customer service not an expert but i do work with a lot of business owners and i feel like one of the biggest things is that companies that treat their people right their customers right um will always have that good review that good uh word of mouth and that will always make your business succeed if you already started keep going at it always improve always do better always try to elaborate on whatever you're doing if you haven't started don't be scared go for it like one thing that i always say is don't be scared like literally be fearless because ¿Qué más puede pasar? i mean everything has already kind of been sold especially nowadays on the internet everything's a competition but what sets you apart is your presentation your marketing marketing is everything somebody said what's your all-time favorite movie so growing up i always thought i was a reincarnation from the 60s like i always thought i lived in the 60s i don't know it was weird even my dad was like what so in me in my quinceanera when i was 15 um i decided to go with a grease theme the movie grease uh because i was in love with the pink ladies and the t-birds and basically the whole movie i i love grease that was my ultimate favorite movie and every time i watch it it's kind of like a cozy feeling and yes that was my theme for my quinceanera a 50s grease movie <laughs> um but uh, now as a grown-up as a grown-up uh i don't know what's my favorite movie um I love Will Smith, so I feel like any of his movies I love. All of his movies I love. So, Will Smith. <laughs> Is that a movie? No, that's freaking Will Smith. But I love all his movies from action, from like I Robot to I Am Legend to like back in the day when he was French Prince of Air to now Suicide Squad. Freaking all these movies he's been in. I just love him okay can like we have another version of him and can i like marry him yes okay no okay that's not gonna happen but yeah i also used to be in love with leonardo dicaprio but i don't know what happened i started like falling out of love <laughs> just kidding <laughs> wolf of wall street wolf of wall street wolf of wall street oh my god i can't say it wolf of wall street i love wolf of wall street i just think i love the way leonardo is super witty and basically also 
any movie that he's in i i just love his attitude as a i don't know i just love him and margot roby i mean come on she's like the hottest chick ever and she came out in both movies wolf of wall street and suicide squad like lucky her you know what i i'm i want to be her like yeah like can i be margot roby <laughs> so yeah she got to work with both of the guys that i love in the movie industry which is neil leo and will <laughs> it took my mat what is your nerdiest hobby well mister my nerdiest hobby is looking up conspiracy theories and i'll spend hours watching documentaries on youtube my nerdiest thing is conspiracies with the government and alien files i love okay i really like this next question it says how do you keep yourself in such harmony in expressions i don't know if they're trying to say how do i keep myself in such harmony or how are my expressions in such harmony but regardless i i remember i responded to this person experience basically experience because um i don't know if it's a sad thing but i have a big mouth and i'm very honest and i'm very blunt being very honest has gotten me in trouble in the past especially when i was younger i used to just say what was in my mind and that wasn't always a good thing because sometimes like i don't know maybe it was the innocence or the the fact that you're young and you don't know what to say what's good what's not that used to get me in trouble and that just made me become a more cautious person if you keep things calm cool and collected people won't know how to come to you like that just exudes confidence it exudes that you are calm and we could talk about it i like to communicate and talk to people i'm very good at debates like you come at me saying a bunch of bullshit and i'll be like yeah other questions i'm getting is like what is your next big move what is your thing are what are you gonna get into honestly like it's hard because like i've been in the industry for a while um i was trying to do tv in the beginning and it's hard so now i'm starting to you know branch out and create businesses where i could actually make money and i have been and i've been also very lucky to work with brands and i'm just trying to expand my goal is to just focus on that and be great at it i feel like time just flies by so you need to focus on one thing and do it right and that's what i've been doing so that is why you also see me more consistent here on youtube i've been very very good with that and yeah it has been one of the most common collected years uh i've been out of drama no cheesemas no rumors nothing because i feel like last year 2017 it was really hectic it was really I was surrounded by a lot of like mischievous people that wanted to take advantage of me and yeah this year thank god i've been i've been good i've been good and that is because i've been with myself for myself for myself i'm doing it for myself so this vlog has been all over the place i just sat down i'm working on my computer literally you see that so yeah um, I also just got back from a shoot. I was shooting with Elsie from OOTD Fash and it was a great experience. You guys will see. They have a lot of new cute clothes. I can't wait to show you guys. And um, yeah, I kind of was working, running errands and this weekend I will be in La Feria de Guatemala so I'll vlog some of it. And yeah, you guys are going to get in the loop. Just wanted to tell you guys. So, work. It's been work, work, work. Do you guys like this makeup by the way? Brittany Bear slayed my face today. It actually is not as fresh as it was in the morning. I mean, it's been a full day, but it still looks amazing. Oh my god, I wish I could look like this every single day, but I don't. Así que nada. Hi right, guys, I hope you guys enjoy these quick questions and get to know me a little bit more. So let's get to it. Random question Do you sleep with socks or without socks? growing up i always slept with socks even like now like i like to buy those fluffy socks and just wear them to sleep but lately it's been very hot here in la so i've been sleeping barefoot and i know a lot of people sleep barefoot so i think i was the only like weirdo growing up always wanting socks to sleep but it's not because like i want to hide my feet i just feel like if i'm cozy then i'm cozy i mostly sleep with my socks on but lately no same question what motivates you to keep your goals going <sighs> dude we have to survive 
that motivates me being alive living a great life also i forgot to mention like i do want to have a good future for myself so I, I this is the time to hustle if you're young if you have all your health if you have everything there shouldn't be a reason why you can't accomplish your goals and if you don't even know what you want to do dive deep try to find yourself try to meditate like listen to audiobooks that are going to help you find peace and 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 like open your mind to new things i feel like a lot of people are stuck in the same ideas and that's why they don't know what what to do like the world is full of possibilities you could do whatever you want just you gotta look for it you'll find it talking about books there is quite a few books that i would recommend if you guys are trying to find yourself or open your mind to bigger things i've been listening to a book that one of my friends actually recommended and I think it's been great it reminds me that I have the power it's called the power of the subconscious mind um, it's this one right here and so I've been listening to this one when I'm like in traffic because I'm always driving or in the morning when I'm getting ready instead of listening to music I listen to my audiobook it kind of sounds like a podcast but it truly reminds me that everything is in our subconscious we have the power and the control of what we want to do so literally it is what you make it in your head in your vibe in your energy in your thoughts so yes um i would recommend if you guys want to get better in your spanish i i read the um four four agreements in spanish so los cuatro acuerdos los cuatro acuerdos me ayudó muchísimo a encontrar paz, tranquilidad y una mente y me ayudó como a pensar positivo todo el tiempo y no tomar nada personal. Muchas cosas que te enseña ese libro. So, si quieren mejorar su español y quieren aprender algo y abrir su mente a nuevas cosas, les recomiendo el libro Los Cuatro Acuerdos de Miguel Ruiz. O sea, tiene muchas enseñanzas que nos podemos que podemos aplicar en nuestras vidas todos los días y creo que libros así son muy buenos para leer, para abrir la mente, para estar en otro tema, no estar en lo mismo. Hay veces estar en, en lo mismo nos atrapa y nos vuelve locos. So I always recommend a good book, a good self book, self help book. So I always recommend reading or listening to your audiobooks. That is definitely one of the things I do. Advice for when you are feeling anxious and unmotivated. What is something that helps you? If you guys want me to be real with you, as I said, I'm very spiritual. I swear to God, I play meditational music on YouTube. I, I play it. Um, so if you go on YouTube and you write meditation music, you'll find songs or like sounds that are super calming. And I swear to God, sometimes I just play that. Just I try to chill, 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 chill. And I'll, I'll literally light one up. I'm not kidding and after that i'll play some chill music and if i'm not feeling any vibes because sometimes you're not in the vibe of listening to music so i like to listen to meditational sounds and i swear to god i have a playlist on youtube that i play and it's basically healing sounds high frequencies these are calming sounds that will just get you in a different frequency in your mind because you have to understand our brain is like little wires we have to rewire our brain and so we're feeling over overly anxious or stressed out you need to get out of that funk and in order to do that i play meditational music on youtube trust me you should try it i don't like to listen to um guided meditations which is the ones where they talk to you i like to just listen to sounds chill out and trust me they work also when i'm in my house i like to um run a little bit sage or in Spanish, se llaman incensios. Me gusta quemar incensios. And that way I just get a new aroma, a new feel, a new vibe in my house. And that's what I do. Next question. Oh my God, my camera's about to die again. Let's get it. Oh my God, oh my God. So my camera is completely dead. This is it. I'm just going to have to wrap it up right here. I'm sorry que los dejé así a medias. But maybe that way you guys can come back and find out more things about me. It was a quick Q&A slash get to know me video um, espero que les gustó y si quieren un video en español ya saben comenten yo voy a hacer un video completamente en español para ustedes próximamente y si no han visto mi último video por favor véanlo es un proyecto muy lindo Visión Guatemala please watch my last video if you guys made it to this point of my video that means you guys are liking it and give me a red heart in the comments that way i know you guys are still watching déjenme un corazoncito rojo así yo sé que ustedes están viendo el video y bueno gracias por estar aquí los veo hasta la próxima